A new asteroid was discovered on December 27, 2024, and the current information we have tells us that there is a 1 in 63 odds or 1.6% chance of the asteroid impacting Earth on December 22, 2032. Big emphasis on the words current information because as we get more information and we learn about its trajectory, all of these values are expected to change and we're expecting them to get lower and lower. JPL currently lists the chance of impact at 1.6% based on data they have as of January 31st, 2025. So other sources may give you other different numbers, maybe slightly different, maybe completely different. So what do we know about this asteroid so far? Should we be worried? And what happened to that asteroid called Apophis that had a higher chance of hitting us. Let's dive in. So what is this asteroid? Asteroid 2024 YR4 was discovered by Atlas in Chile on December 27th, two days after its closest approach to Earth. Kinda scary. Atlas should be a very familiar name. It stands for the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, and it's responsible for finding countless asteroids and comets all across the solar system. And it's designed to find and track these objects in space and let us know if somehow one of them is going to hit us. Atlas is also responsible for finding the last two brightest comets that have graced us here on Earth. Let's quickly talk about how this asteroid got the name 2024 YR4. What do those numbers and letters really mean? Minor planets, which includes asteroids, are given a provisional designation based on when they were discovered. So when you look at the numbers and names, after today, when you see any future asteroid, you'll know exactly when it was discovered. The first number of the year is self-explanatory. It's the year of discovery. The first letter tells us in which half month it was discovered. Looking at this chart, every month is broken down into two halves and are assigned two letters. The letters I and Z are not used. So from April to May, we go from the letters H to J. So this asteroid discovered in Y tells us it was discovered in the second half of December. The second letter tells us the order in which it was discovered. This uses the letter Z, but not I. So we have 25 letters to work with. Letter A means that it was discovered first in that half month period, and R means it was discovered as number 17. Next is the number four. It's a subscript and it tells us the cycle. Since we're working with only 25 letters, they get used up very fast, especially with the improvements in detection today. So if you don't see a number, it's technically a zero or the first cycle. So a four means that four cycles have already passed and it's on the fifth time around. So quickly doing the math, Asteroid 2024 YR4 was the 117th minor planet discovered in the second half of December 2024. It's crazy how many objects we're discovering these days, and it's all thanks to systems like Atlas. Back to the asteroid specs. The asteroid is estimated to be between 40 and 100 meters wide, or for those of us using the Imperial system, it's between 6 and 15 Ford F-350 pickup trucks, or between 130 and 330 feet. And according to the latest information from JPL, there's a 1.6% chance of it hitting us on December 22nd, 2032. But that means that there's a 98.4% chance that it will miss us. So the odds are in our favor. So it's not the time to start building a bunker. Wait for more information. And as we get more information and learn about its trajectory, we're expecting the chances of impact to go near zero. This image from the IAWN or the International Asteroid Warning Network shows us that the projected location of the asteroid on December 22nd, 2032. The individual dots represent where the asteroid may impact on December 22nd. The uncertainty region is about a million miles wide or about 1.6 million kilometers. Two of those dots show that it could impact Earth, but this clearly demonstrates that there's a lot of uncertainty and we should definitely wait for more information. The impact hazard is best defined by the Torino scale invented by Professor Richard Binzel from MIT. This asteroid has a Torino rating of 3, which basically means that a close encounter is going to happen and astronomers should pay attention because the current calculations show that there is a 1% or greater chance of localized destruction in the next 10 years. That's a mouthful. And the Torino scale goes from 0 to 10, where 0 means no chance of collision, and 10 means everything is screwed. 2024 YR4 is currently the only object with a non-zero Torino rating, so it's getting the attention that it wants. Also, according to JPL, this asteroid has a mass of about 220 million kilograms. And if it impacts, it'll have an energy output of about 7.9 megatons, based on the projected impact velocity of about 7.3 kilometers per second. That's about half the energy of the Tunguska event in 1908, which is estimated to be most probably around 15 megatons. But that was an event where a lot of trees fell in the forest and no one was around to hear it, so we're not exactly sure. So if this asteroid hits, the blast damage could be about 50 kilometers from the impact center. So there is potential for damage, but it's not going to be an extinction level event. 
it could be a very heavy inconvenience to pretty much everyone in the world. And because of systems like Atlas, we will know exactly when and where that will happen. So projects like these need to be funded all across the globe. And if there's a chance of collision, we can depend on the International Asteroid Warning Network, or IAWN, to spring into action. This is a worldwide planetary defense collaboration between many countries and many organizations all over the world, and they will get together, analyze, and plan accordingly. We can expect to keep getting more information on Asteroid 2024 YR4 through early April 2025, at which point the asteroid will go far enough away that even the largest telescopes on Earth will not be able to observe it, and we'll have to wait for it to come back around in June 2028 before we can make further predictions. But we really shouldn't worry, because let me tell you about an asteroid called 2004 MN4, also known as Apophis, named after the Egyptian god of darkness and disorder, Apep. Apophis is the Greek name. It's an asteroid about half a kilometer wide, and it reached 4 on the Torino scale with an impact chance of about 2.7% when it was discovered in 2004, and the expected impact date was 2029, coming up. But further observations told us that Apophis will miss Earth in 2029, but if it passes through something called a gravitational keyhole in space, it'll come back around and hit us in 2036. But even further observations leading into 2006 showed that that's not going to happen. Apophis is not going to hit us in 2029 or 2036. So it was rated back down to zero on the Torino scale, and the chance of impact is almost zero. And we can expect something similar from Comet 2024 YR4. And even if the impact chances goes up to 100%, it's a tiny and weak asteroid and it stands no chance against Earth. This asteroid has a mass of about 220 million kilograms. Kilo